All right, thank you for watching. We're going to be looking at the John Lofgren engineer boots today. Now, this is a pair that I've been thinking about for a long time, whether to bite the bullet and just go for it. Um, and yeah, so I just thought, let's do it. I need to know. I need to know what these are like. I mean, uh, reading reviews and uh, watching YouTube videos and yeah, this is the one that, uh, yeah, you need, to, you need to buy it and you need to find out the hard way. So let's have a little look. So, comes with a uh, quite a sturdy, sturdy box to them and uh, nicely bagged. Very nice, nice high quality bag with them. Oh wow, that is a pretty stunning boot. Slightly lighter than I thought they would be. But you know, seeing from seeing pictures and stuff, I can see like in time they would definitely get darker. A bit like the boots I'm wearing now, they've definitely got darker with time. Nice quality, to the quality leather is very soft. It doesn't feel um, too hard. Not as uh, stiff as the uh, two nine sixes in here. These are absolutely brutal. Um, but I'll talk about them another time. Um, but yeah, these, these are amazing, they're quite nice. I like how we've got the little crossover here on the on the stitching, very nice. And the uh, soles are made in England, I've been told, and the uh, the buckles in Japan. And yeah, the rest of the design, it's taken a long time to get this going, this boot. Let's have a look at the other ones, and let's see what comes in this box that we've got. Shoe here, we're gonna pop that one right there. Got another one here. And uh, what else is in here? We've got a little booklet. Let's have a little look what this is all about. Nice. Okay, so yeah, it says uh, about the engineering boots, triple stitched in high stress areas. The brass buckles there. These are the Whip D, this pair, I believe. Really nice, so little features on there. There's, there's this little hole in the back of these boots. Now, I have read about this before in a uh, few forums. Now, up there. The little hole, apparently, according to forums, it is a breather hole. Apparently, all the John Lofgren boots have it. So, yeah, it looks like a little slightly defect, but I don't know. It's there. I'm sure if you put a little bit of a bit of a dubbing in there, that'll surely fill out. But maybe it's meant to be there for a reason. So leave it. Mm, and that's a little stitch slightly off here. We've got one little extra hole where it hasn't quite met. I'm sure my uh, Red Wings where that's happened, that's uh, gone into being in the factory seconds, but yeah, it's not the biggest issue, it's not on both of them there. Flawless stitching around here. Right, I think we need to really try these on and find out how they actually feel. Alright, alright, so let's uh, try these on now. See, uh, see what they truly fit like. Just wearing a pair of uh, Chippewa boots at the moment. Quite nice, they're a unisex pair. Not, uh, as high as them ones. Right, I'm gonna start with the left foot. Always a little bit easier, so unbuckle these. Undo the top, really. I don't think should get away with that. Ah, slides right in perfectly. Quite nice and tight. Always fine with these uh, engineer boots. You don't want to leave it too loose. We'll wear it quite tight. Start with that's the one I always uh, dread getting on. The right foot. It's not going to be as easy. <laughs> Never is. Really nice and uh, soft, these boots. You can really grab hold of them a little bit easier with the leather. 
<laughs> Not too bad. Nice as well. This this here is not too baggy round here. My uh, Red Wing two nine nine O's. They're very very wide. They were, which I wasn't quite a fan of. Is what put me off them. Wow, comfort. I'd say that they're up. They feel amazing. Maybe expose that a little bit more. Look at that. Very nice. Love them. Feel good. Feel a little bit tight in these areas. You know that's gonna it's gonna loosen out in time. Doesn't feel like there's any hill slip. A little bit, but you know I'm wearing quite slim socks. Usually I would wear a little, maybe a bit baggier, a baggier, a bit, a bit thicker on the socks. I wear baggy socks. That's going to wear these fully exposed. It doesn't look too bad though. Yeah, big fan. I think this would be nice as well with like a um, more of a slim cut jeans. These could look really nice because, like I just said, they're very, you know, not too baggy here. Let's compare that to a. 2966 red wing. So, maybe this boot would be an easier comparison. Definitely think this is a lot wider. It's on the tightest thing as well. And I've still got another one to actually tighten it up there. Close that gap back a little bit more. Wow, incredible. Love it. Very nice boot. Wait.